One, two, three, four, five lights. And we're off racing here in Shanghai, China for the Chinese Grand Prix Round 13 of Summit League Racing Division 2. And now we go up into turn one and two, respectively, where all the cars are going to go side by side. There's going to be some crazy action here. We got to be really in, uh, careful on the braking. Oh, we already have some shit going down in the back. Nothing uh, too crazy to note. Legends and Zack is Beast side by side as we come in at turn four. Looks like Zack is Beast able to hold off Legends for the time being. Some nice moves. I'm sure the medium runners will be enjoying this. Oh, my goodness. Legends uh, luckily had the space for the braking there. So, some really nice battles out of turn uh, four and five now. Whoo! Oh, we have one car off. It's that guy. That guy has already gone off. It looks like on the exit of, uh, I believe it was uh, the exit of six, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, get. I know you guys like this shit. So, Zach is Beast up three positions. Moly up five. Leia up four. Oh, and there goes Owen. Oh, no, sorry. It was Legends. Legend went off. Oh, my goodness. And now Jurassic Blaze has gone wide. Compromised his exit speed. Oh, my goodness. That's heartbreaking for Legends. Now we have Sautier going up on the inside of Danny D. As we go into the hairpin of 14. Oh, my goodness. Well, this has been a fun opening lap. Uh, oh my goodness. JMC got a little squirrely there. Voldemort hits it, holding in P11. Got Moly right behind Kislesko. Of course, no DRS for the first two laps. Man, these guys are... Oh my goodness. They're literally bumper to bumper. This must be like London traffic, right, folks? I've never been to London, but I'm assuming it's like that because downtown Toronto here in Canada is pretty much like that. Really uh, good driving from all the drivers, though, watching their P's and Q's, it would appear. I haven't caught anything massive, you know, with regards to collisions or anything like that. See here now we go through the chicane. So let's take a look at our top drivers. We got Corrito holding the lead ahead of Commence. We got Borga in P3, Vapid Coot P4, and Beast in P5. See uh, a little bit of a train maybe forming or a little bit breaking here at this point in the uh, race where you got Vapid Coot trying to keep up with Borga here. Looks like our top drivers have pretty much exchanged positions, our top four. Commence Dope has the fastest lap of the race, so if that's anything to go by, folks. May see some interest. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got Lee is coming to the pits. Same with Owen. This is a new front wing. Yeah, it is a new front wing. What about Owen? Is he getting a new front wing as well? I wish I could see. Yes, he is. So, two drivers very early taking damage and going in for an early pit stop. So, they'll be hoping, obviously, for a full safety car or something like that to maybe spice things up in this race or allow them to catch up, I guess, in short form. Meanwhile, we have uh, Kozlesko sitting in P7. Being hunted down by Moly here in P8. Both these guys up six and seven positions, respectively. So these guys obviously doing quite well. Let's go now back to the tire compounds. Moly taking advantage of those soft tires as much as they uh, probably won't last, let's be honest. And yeah, the hards are definitely going to, you know, have the day over the softs. The softs will be good pretty much for three, what, three, four laps? Not even. I think even here on the third lap, they're already starting to fucking break down. So, it's possible that Moly just, his whole strategy will just be to go to the uh, hard compound. 
and try and end the race on that hard compound. He's working on the bumper of Kizlesko. He's, he's, he's making Kalesko nervous, I'm sure. Go back up to the top. Zaki's Beast getting real close to uh, Vapid Cute now. Oh, and uh, yeah. Oh, Kizlesko and Moly having a battle. Oh my goodness. Let's go on board with JMC so we can see these two. You can see Moly taking the inside line on Kislesko. They did make a little bit of contact there. And now we go down into turn six. Oh my goodness. These two having a fun little battle. Who's going to be better on the braking? We see uh, Kislesko having the inside line. Moly, though, it looks like he's going to have the better action speed. And we'll take that inside line now as we go into turn seven. Very nicely done from the Hoss driver. That was a fun little battle. I'm sure more to come in the future. Let's go up back to... Closer to the front, we got Borga getting nice and close to commence, possibly here. Commence running low on that little bit of Urz. You see Borga saved up quite a bit, actually, so here we go. DRS activated. The Williams driver getting that slipstream, getting that extra straight line speed. And commence just hold him off, and he has no battery left. This is going to be interesting to see um, how long the Alpine can actually hold off Borga. Wow, the setup, the setups. It has to be the setups because commence. It looks like has got the straight line speed. I guess it also helps, too, that he's within DRS range of Corrido. Meanwhile, Zach is Beast has now made the move on Vapid Coots. So that is P4 for Zach is Beast. He's made quite a few moves in throughout this race. And now he is up. How many positions? He's up four positions now. Adrian is up into P12, it seems. He's uh, putting some pressure on Legend, maybe, potentially. Oh, fastest lap from uh, Voldemort. And that guy has gone into the pits. Oh, no. So already uh, some a little bit of chaos for some drivers. Looks like he's been relatively good, though, for the most part. Like, especially some of our uh, front runners. The only thing that I really noticed was Legend that kind of made it a little bit of an error at the chicane of 11 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, there's pretty much two little trains forming here. There's uh, our top three, and then four, five, and six. Seems like Corrido just going to be able to hold off Commence. And then with respect to Borga, because Commence has DRS, you know, Commence is just able to hold him off. It's uh, kind of a double whammy here. Kind of stuck almost, if you will. Um, looks like uh, Corrido takes a much wider line out of 1 and 2. Maybe just losing a little bit of time to Commence, but obviously not losing the position, which is all he really gives a shit about, let's be real. Now we go into turn six. You know, we should get, uh, tell Corrido, you know, just uh, just relax. Just relax. You're good. He is uh, low on battery. Just save up. Oh, we got some uh, battles here in the background. Let's go down board with JMC. We got Moly and Kislesko back at it again. It's deja vu all over again, folks. Looks like Kislesko, though, actually... Forcing the issue. They've gone side by side for quite a while now. Oh, and there's contact. That's not, that's dumb. That's a little bit of contact. Hopefully, uh, JMC doesn't have any damage, but yeah, let's get a bird's eye view. That's this is a great shot. Look at that. Look at this fucking train. You know. Uh, I can't see any damage to JMC here, but legendary Danny D is on a charge right now. Oh my goodness, everyone. Wow, here we go. Is JMC going to go up the inside of two drivers? Oh my goodness. Oh 
My goodness. Now, that was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Here's Moly. He's finally coming into the pits. But what a move by JMC. The double overtake coming into 14. I'm very, very grateful that we got to see that move. And these guys still battling that legendary Danny. He's right on the Alpine's ass right now. McLaren driver, he wants P7, obviously. Probably saw that gorgeous overtake. He's like, I got, I got one better for you, bro. I got you. I got you. Let's do this. Man, that was fun, though. That was actually, like, really cool. Here is uh, a replay of that, actually, folks. You can just see, just coming up on the inside. Oh, my goodness. Very, very fun battles all around. Now we got Danny D coming up on the inside of the chicane. No. Got the Alpine just holding them off. But this is where the McLaren is going to be able to attack. DRS coming up. Just needs to get a good exit compared to the Alpine. It does not. Oh, my goodness. The Alpine might have messed up because Legend is right side by side. And he's going to take the position. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, this legend gonna try to switch back, maybe. No, he wasn't able to. JMC getting a little bit defensive, but nice and clean. Legend, though, nicely done to get ahead of Danny D for P8. Now he is attacking JMC, going down the main straight. JMC going defensive. Forcing legends on the inside. Whew. Some, uh,. Some tight little battles here. Looks like JMC just able to hold the position for the time being. We got um, a nice train back here now. Oh my goodness. Was that five cars? Five, six cars? But because of all the battling, they are falling off the pace of our leaders here at the front. At least uh, commence still with Corrito within half a second up at the front. Borga sitting in P3. We got Zaki's Beast in P4 with Vapid Coot hunting him on the hards. So yeah, Vapid Coot, the only one of the uh, top five at the moment on the hard compound. Got Mash to deal with as well right behind him. Seems like Moly came out in P18. Now he's on a medium set, so I'm assuming he's going to go on to a two-stop strategy. Do, 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 do. All right, well, we got Vapid Coot now with Mash. Still, lap 9 of 28. Man, it's, it's so tight. Like, I have no idea who's going to get a move done and when. Oh, it looks like Adrian has come into the pits on lap 7. Interesting. Oh, Legends and JMC getting into it. Guess we kind of really expected this battle. They are. Oh, that's definite contact. Oh, my goodness. He pushed JMC to the side. Got the rear end. I don't think there's any damage to Legend, but... Might have compromised him. Left him susceptible to Danny D. No. Oh, my goodness. Danny D. What the hell was that? I think we're okay. Well, we have uh, active jams. Oh my goodness, is that Zaki's Beast? Zaki's Beast was off. So Zaki's Beast has now dropped down to P6. Man, that's crazy. Right up at the top, just one little mistake can cost you so many positions in this, in this league. It's actually ridiculous. That's how close and good competitive these drivers are. And of course, we're at China, Shanghai. I mean, who, who the fuck races here anymore? It's just, just, you don't see it very often. And as such, um, a lot of our drivers just, you know, haven't practiced here very much. Uh, we got Borga coming in for the mediums. Wow. 
Very early, early pit stops. A lot of people going for undercuts. So we have Mash and Vapid Q. Well, a bunch of positions. That's all right. <laughs> they always get thrown off, but they're in the pits. Man, at least credit to Commence. Um, I believe at one time he was actually low on the battery. And now he's sitting at 32 where Carrillo is at 13. They've literally flipped the switch. Vapid Coot sitting at 3 seconds behind the leaders now in P3. We got Mash here in P4. Zachary's Beast because of his spin. He's now 3 seconds behind the pack. He's got some work to do. Much easier said than done, though, let's be real. I mean, already in lap 10 of 28, and I'm sure the mediums are not doing well. Uh-oh, something happened here. Well, it looks like Legends has just lost two positions to Danny D and to Blaze. I'm not sure if he has damage or he maybe got a, a terrible exit out of 10. But regardless, now he is in P9 and now under threat from his teammate, Kislesko. Yeah, consistency is going to be very important, folks, for this entire race. I can't stress that enough. There's so many places where you can easily lose the rear end, and especially because tires will get, you know, will start screaming at you, and especially if you make one little spin. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, yeah, if you make one of those spin, the, uh, the tires actually, like, fly up with regards to temperature. And then you can't brake, you can't get on the throttle, you can't really do anything. When your tires are like at 110 degrees. You guys all know what I'm talking about. So, Yeah, it's uh, it's it's like a fun little balancing act that I'm sure all these drivers are playing with right now. I'm more just curious on when the, uh, the top guys are going to be coming in. MASH able to hold up with Vapid Coot, which is obviously a good sign. So it tells me at least that the mediums can last 10 laps at least. And, and you know, behind tra in dirty air, which is actually extra important, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh, something happened in the background. I think that uh, Leia has just gone off at, uh, I believe that was turn seven on the mini-map. Back to racing though, so. Hopefully he is okay. I think Commence is just content with staying right here, if I'm being honest. I, I can't really see why Commence would want to force the issue, especially at this point in the race. Maybe later on once they get their pit stops and all that fun little jazz. Mash coming into the pits, though. So going for the undercut. Obviously on Vapid Coop, but obviously he's on mediums versus hard. So Vapid would be staying out longer regardless. But I guess that'll be the next question is like, when is Vapid Coop going to start coming in? Got Mash going on a fresh set of hard, so it's important to note there. Let's go here. Legends and Blaze. Our, our old friends, folks. Our old friends. Now, Legend probably won't want to make a move at this point. It's uh, just coming into out of 10 that he's probably going to want to try something, maybe. It's all about good, getting good exit speed out of this long left-hander right here. The double left-hander, if you will. 9 and 10. Nice exit. Here we go, Legends. This will be his chance because Blaze does not have DRS to help himself defend. So it'll all will be about this exit right here. Of course, because let's go right behind him as well, just keeping uh, keeping him in check. Essentially, is the uh, Aston teammate of Kislesko, but he does have a three-second time penalty, so I'm sure he won't be forcing the issue to Legend. Man, Blaze looks like he gets a really good exit out of the uh, 13, and yeah, just like peace, bud. Have a nice, have a nice life. <laughs> is essentially what he's saying. All right, Zach, his beast has come in. Uh, 
I'm actually surprised our leaders have not box these two are still ripping through actually he's commencing to have a look on the inside of six they make a little bit of contact but Carrito holds the position and it seems like the Alpine getting a little bit excited maybe maybe seeing something that we're not I have to keep an eye on these two Is Vapid Coot, like, absolutely rock? I think Vapid Coot is catching up massively. Yeah, I have a feeling these mediums are completely dead, folks. Because you got Vapid Coot. He's on a charge. He looks really comfortable on the 12 lap hards. Uh-oh. What happened? What happened? Oh, Drastic Blaze, no! Seems on my mini-map, Drastic Blaze had a little bit of an incident at the exit of six. Oh, and Carrito going in. Commence staying out one lap longer. Interesting. All right, Carrito doing well, watching his P's and Q's going into the pits. Very important. So this will be interesting. They stayed out quite a lot ways longer. Let's see if Borga can actually make a overtake on Corrido. And here comes Corrido. He's out. Oh my goodness. Borga. Oh! They are side by side. There's Borga right there. He's got Kozlesko right behind him. And then there's contact. There's Corrido right round. Oh my goodness! And now Carrito has got lots of work to do after that spin. And he's got to heat up the tires. Oh man. Well, I'm not a referee, so I'm not gonna, you know, stress over these things, but regardless, I just document what happened and uh, Borga. I think just had the, you know, more heat in the tires, more, definitely more traction, and uh, Carrito just, I think, got a little too uh, too excited, and very unfortunate for him. Take a look at the replay, actually. Oh, yeah, just unfortunate. Oh, oh my goodness, Voldemort's crashed, and it's a safety car! Oh, and how? I haven't even mentioned him. And there is the stricken alpha. Oh, my goodness. So, ladies and gentlemen, a full safety car. Wow. Well, this has to be music to uh, commence his ears. Wow, Vapid Coot is actually stuck behind the car. Everyone taking the opportunity now to box, folks. Even the hard guys going on to fresh medium. Some guys repairing damage. Wow. So Owen Howe, after two incredible back-to-back uh, -back weekends, the uh, unfortunately cannot get the hat trick for himself. And uh, is the first driver eliminated from the Chinese Grand Prix this weekend. By the way, I heard uh, great things from the F2 race here uh, yesterday. Apparently, shout out to uh, Corey, if I'm not mistaken. I think Corey won the F2 race. You guys can crack me if I'm wrong on that. Regardless, I heard it was a fucking great uh, showing and performance from the F2 drivers, which is basically all I'm getting at. I think Scar, Scar might be having a couple uh, internet issues. He's trying to get back into the session. He's ghosted right now. <coughs> These two are, like, exchanging mul- What is going on here?
Um, that was really weird. That and that also sucks for uh, Vapid Q. He's gonna lose so many. That is so bullshit for Vapid Q. Actually. Looks like Borga is having major issues here. Th the whole front of the pack is fucking completely flipped on an axis, though. This is ridiculous. What's going to happen? Honestly, it could have been a lot worse. Let's be real. So, P6 for Vapid Cute. At least he'll be able to catch up to the uh, back of the pack, but... He could have been clearly in first place, still. Well, I guess Borga sitting in P1. Um, he is ghosted, so he's not even in his car right now. I'm sure he, he's having connection issues, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, hopefully he gets back in, because if he doesn't get back in, he's going to be very susceptible to an overtake from Commence and Danny D. Actually, it's kind of funny. I think the uh, this Summit division, they put their AI to what I have my AI set as, so... Essentially, they're racing a stupid drunk Canadian. If you're in AI mode. <laughs> that's, that's basically the gist of it. If you ever see a, a ghosted car in Summit, that's basically me and my driving skills. <laughs> so, as you can see, the ghost is pissing off comments. Majorly. And guess what? We're going to have to go around all over again. We might get back to racing on uh, lap 18, 28, which would mean, uh, obviously, 11 laps of racing. It'll just be about tire conservation right now, just making sure that at least you get some heat into the tires, but at the same time, I think right now specifically, the, the main goal will to be not to get any heat in the tires and just fuck off, you know? Oh my goodness, what is going on here? We're all seeing this, right? We're all seeing what I'm seeing on screen, right? <laughs> Jesus, Murphy. Sometimes sometimes it throws you off with some of the shit that this game pulls. Uh, Adrian is going into the pit. What are you doing, Adrian? You just want the fresh mediums, Adrian? Is that what he's trying to do? Of course it is. I love how I think about it for a second. I say it out loud, and then it happens. I swear, sometimes Adrian and I think way too much alike. It's actually fucking terrifying. <laughs> Commence, look how far back Commence is from Borga now. He's just, the ghost of Borga. He's just like, fuck this. This is stupid. <laughs> Still waiting for that guy. Is that guy going to be able to catch up before we go around again? I'm hitting a bull, folks. Um, I can't. I can't do this. I can't do it. I'm hitting a bull. Alright, finally folks, safety car is coming in this lap. <coughs> Let's make sure that Borga is back in his fucking car, yeah. So it looks like Borga has got his uh, internet working again, which is important to see. Still waiting for Borga. He's uh, just getting us started. Green flags, though. I 
And we're off racing here in Shanghai once again. Borga ahead of Commence, Legendary Danny D, and JMC. The entire grid has kind of flipped on an axis here after that safety car. Lots of people taking different strategies now. Everyone is pretty much boxed. Everyone has boxed. What am I saying? Pretty much. Everyone has. So now we should be able to go right to the end of this race. Oh my god, we already have some battles here. Legend and JMC getting into it. Is this, is this more deja vu, folks? Are they back at it again? These two can't get enough of each other. Get a room, you two. Carito making a move on MASH up in P9. He's also got a lot of work to do, especially after that spin that he had earlier. Um, just before the safety car, actually. Now he's going to look to put pressure on Coutinho. Coming into the chicane. Coutinho getting a little defensive. Carito not even put off a bit. Coutinho, though, still fighting with them. Oh, there's a little bit of contact. And uh, actually, Carito might get compromised here from MASH. Coming up on the inside. Wow, there's some good driving. Oh, there's a little bit of contact. That's a, that's a nice body check. No, no big deal. I'm Canadian. We play hockey. It's all good. That was a legal body check. Oh, speaking of the devil. Commence. Oh, he goes way too deep. Into 14. And Borga saying, thank you very much. I'll take that inside line. Danny D and JMC right there as well. You got legends in this battle. Oh my goodness, this is going to be intense. Of course, no DRS for the first two laps after a safety car. Apparently that guy has the fastest lap of the race. And now we have more overtakes going into turn one and two with Commence getting the move done and getting it to stick this time. Now legendary Danny D trying to go around the outside of Borga. And it looks like he's going to get some better exit speed using a little bit of battery. And we go into turn six nicely done from the McLaren. And now we have JMC having a having a look. Vapid Coot coming up on the inside of Legends. And we got Zach's Beast is off. So Zach's Beast is off. And there's another collision. Oh my goodness. JMC and Borga. It's heartbreaking stuff. For certain drivers out here. For others, it is pure delight. Corrido having a look on Coutinho. These two have been battling for the last two laps now. Oh, Coutinho goes and loses his rear end. Now Corrido under threat from MASH again. Oh my goodness, they are side by side quite literally. MASH though, looks like he's going to get the better exit speed. And I think he's going to... No, they don't have battery. That's right, they don't have the DRS yet. Corrido is pretty much out of battery though. Oh my goodness, what a restart, folks. It's like Sautier. Oh my goodness, Sautier made a move, but lost out on the exit. And now he's going to lose two positions because of the failed exit out of 14. That's just, that's just rude. Adrian, just taking a completely different line. What the hell are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Carito. And Kislesko. Jesus, Murphy. I, I don't even know where to focus anymore. It's like Vapid Coot into the podium here in P3. He's still got legends on his ass, but he's going to be charging down the McLaren. Commence has gained a 1.3 second gap between himself and Danny D. Probably put a, putting a little bit of a smile on his face, I'm sure. Anyways, here was the uh, incident that we uh, had just earlier. Luckily, there was no uh, safety car whatsoever, but very unfortunate contact between, I believe it was Borga and JMC. And yeah, just right through. All right, I think this will be uh, Vapid Coot's chance now to uh, maybe get a move on the McLaren. You see the McLaren uh, running low on battery. I don't think it's going to be on this breaking point. He's got to be... Oh, my goodness. he got to be smart. <laughs> it's just so much. Carrying so much extra speed and the dirty air, I'm sure, just affecting the braking. Let's see if Vapid Coot can do something here coming into turn one now. He's going to have DRS once again, but Danny D is now within DRS of Commence, so obviously 
Uh, Danny D starting to push. You might just lose that all over again, though. It all depends on these first couple corners, of course. Man, Vapid just... Just having a little sniff. Just thinking of... So let, letting uh, Danny D know. I'm here. P2 is not yours. <laughs> I think that was just really unfortunate for Vapid Cute that he had to uh, go behind the safety car and he had to wait for everybody. He could have literally had the lead. But, you know, for the, considering he had to uh, start in P6 on the restart versus P1, he's up into P3 right now. And technically, he still could get the uh, the win here. He's on the charge, hunting down Danny D. The only problem for him is if Danny D, I think he might have hit the detection point a little too late. I think Commence actually, here we go, we're going to see this here. Wow, Vapid Coot, nicely done, and yeah, there he goes. Danny D did not get it, so Vapid Coot coming up the outside right around, and that is P2 for the Hoss Driver. Nicely done there. And now he can hunt down, potentially commence for P1. Commence, this has been an absolutely solid race for but now Vapid Q taking the fastest lap of the race. And that is definitely letting the field know. There's a new sheriff in town and it's Vapid Q. He's on the charge. He's got his sirens on, essentially. He's got the handcuffs ready. Is Commence going to be his next victim? That's going to be the question. Uh, Danny D, obviously, staying right there. As we all know, anything can fucking happen here in Division 2. Looks like Carito kind of stuck behind Mash and Legends at this point. Carito had a, um, I believe, yeah, he was winning this pretty much this entire race ahead of Commence. But uh, after that little spin on the exit of uh, two into three, just very unfortunate stuff for him. So he's got work to do. He's still done, you know, enough to get back into P6. So he's in the points. Mash getting nice and close to Legends now. And we got Vapid Coot charging down Commence, folks. Here we go for the lead of this race. It's the Haas versus the Alpine. And now he goes into the inside. Nicely done from Vapid. And that is P1. Can he be smart on the break? He's got to be smart on the break in here. I don't want to say anything. Oh, my goodness. Commence and Vapid side by side. And Vapid is going to get the move done, but is Commence going to have DRS now? Yes, he is. Can he respond coming into turns one and two respectively now? Commence having a look on the inside. Thinks better of it. Probably uh, a smart decision. I think all of us will agree on that. We definitely don't want to force the issue, especially so late into the game. Now we've got pretty much... Uh, a huge train here forming between P1 to P6, folks. And as we saw earlier, like any one little mistake from any of these drivers can just, you know, <laughs> catastrophically change the outcome of some of these races, or especially some of these positions. You really just never know where they're going to finish off. And there's yellow flags galore in the background, but that's just some of the back markers. Luckily, it's not interfering with any of our drivers to the point where I'm seeing um, the need for a VSC or anything like that. But I'm pretty sure that Scar Borga, or one of those guys there, just back there struggling. Man, this, this, is, this is terrible for these guys. They are literally stuck in the train. Yeah, this, this, this is probably the one positive. Legend's probably hoping this, that Danny D falls back of the uh, pace of our leaders. And yeah, he doesn't have DRS now. So yeah, that's uh, this could be interesting, folks. How, uh, how Legend wants to play this here. Five laps to go. 
Everyone has done their mandatory pit stop, of course, so shouldn't see any disqualifications. It was funny, uh, yesterday I think uh, there was an F2 race, not in Summit. I know there's an F2 race in Summit as well. It's another league, and uh, some guy got disqualified at the end of the F2 race because he didn't change compounds or something like that. I was laughing so hard. Feel bad for the guy, but still pretty funny. Looks like Commence has uh, not been able to keep up with the mediums. The hards, we have seen though, like um, in the past stint, that the hards start to uh, get better than the mediums around lap 11 and 12 respectively. And I think Vapid Coot has just planned this enough, especially with the safety car and everything being able, because technically it's not really eight laps he's done, right? It's, Six hard laps and then two car laps under the safety cars. Essentially, what he did. So, that being said, you know, or actually, probably even one actually because he had to. Uh, he was a uh, yeah. <laughs> With that being said, Vapikut's in a pretty good spot, folks. So these medium guys, they have to watch their P's and Q's, especially um, with attacking each other, being in the dirty air. Mash, Carrito, and Legends, respectively. We can't get at all over anxious like whatsoever we've already seen a couple of uh drivers make the error of getting a little too hard on the throttle maybe making a move where they shouldn't have and just with the entire pack being so close like one mistake will cost you multiple positions maybe drop you out of the points it's heartbreaking to see but that's how we live and you learn right Uh-oh. Something happened in the background. I think Blaze just went off again. He's uh, not had a fun day. May have to uh, change the brake music just for Drastic Blaze, just to pump him up for the uh, future races, because... Poor guy. He's not having fun here in China. And now Commence falling behind. You can see... He's got no battery left. Vapid's on 11%. Oh my goodness, this is... Very interesting. It looks like Mash the closest to Legends in this train here. Maybe, potentially, an overtake. It's a lot harder to do it in the train, obviously. Well, three laps to go. We may see a couple, you know... Aggressive moves here in the uh, closing stages of this race. Also, I have to keep an eye on the uh, the track map there for the fucking flags and all that shit. I think it was Leia just went off at 13 because Adrian has just passed for P16. So yeah, Adrian, Leia, Coutinho, those guys uh, just... They're probably going to have... They want the, to forget days like this. Oh my goodness, Korea... What the... I need to see a replay of that. I, I pressed the replay button. So give me, let it load for a second. I need to see that again. It almost looked like the McLaren went through the Mercedes. That was weird. Regardless, Carrito sitting in P5, and I don't think there was any damage. Here, we're just going to check that out again. We were going into turn six. Oh my goodness. That was cheeky. Very aggressive, but very clean, too. Like, wow. <laughs> See if MASH has anything to say about that as we go into turn 14. He's definitely got the straight line speed. Oh, Carrito going really defensive. Wow! And MASH completely missed his breaking point there. I don't know about the uh, defensive, though. We all saw that. You guys you guys would know better than me, but... Oh, my goodness. I have to assume that MASH is probably really pissed off right now. He's, he's like, what the fuck? Oh, 
Well, I'm gonna it's, it's, I just want to keep an eye on everything. We got Commence. He's actually made up a little bit of time, so he's gonna maybe start putting pressure on Vapid Q. He just doesn't have enough battery left saved up, so he's gonna have to do some good straight line speed, maybe a good some good exit speeds here in the final uh, closing stages of this race. And it looks like Adrian has spun again. It has not been a fun day for Adrian. I have a feeling he didn't practice at all for this fucking race. That's that's my guess. All right, so commence obviously gonna have DRS is just gonna is it gonna be enough? We're gonna try and see here the straight line speed. We'll have one more attempt on the final lap to do it. So it looks like he is faster. He is making up a little bit of ground in the straight line speeds. Is it gonna be enough on the final lap? Is the question. We got Legends putting pressure on Danny D. We got Mash up in with Corito still. One lap to go, folks. Final lap! Just trying to make sure that nothing's going on. I think it was a Mercedes off at uh, turn 10. We're okay though, folks. We're okay. We're still racing. Commence. Hunting down Vapid Coot. You got Legends hunting down Danny D for the final podium position. And then you got Mash hunting down Corito. This is going to be very, very tight here, folks. Okay, we got to watch this, obviously. We got Commence and Vapid Coot. It's all about the chicane of 11 and 12 here right now. We're going to get a good exit speed. And then going to 13. Gonna go on board. And it looks like. Oh my goodness. It might be a little too little too late. He is making up lots of time though. The Delta's dropping. Here we go into turn 14. He's having a look on the inside. Just not close enough to even get a dive bomb. And here we go. Vapid Kukin off. And legendary Danny D and Legend actually getting about the two legends battling it out. Carito and Mash battling it out. Oh, Mash has gone around. Oh my goodness. You had a I had a feeling something might happen between Mash and Carito, especially on the final lap. Oh my goodness. Well, I think the stewards are going to have a very fun time. So, admins, stewards, if you're a steward in the uh, in the Summit League, uh, <laughs> all the best. Best wishes here from Canada. Aw, QWERTY, thank you for the follow, brother. Welcome to the Dub Zone. Damn, this was a pretty good race for, um, at least me as a commentator. For some drivers, obviously, not so much. Scar Borga, this is going to be one that he's probably going to want to forget. He was doing so well, ends up in P15 out of the points, obviously. And then another person who definitely is going to want to completely forget this ever occurred. Like, don't even bring this up to the poor guy is uh, Adrian sitting in P16 as he comes across the line to end this race officially. Wow. Well, that was uh, it's a fun race. I enjoyed myself. Now let's run through the grid. All right, Vapid Coot coming out in first place. Then we got Commence in P2, Legendary Danny D in P3, Legend P4, uh, Corito in P5, Lee Men's in P6, Mash in